What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest build of Evolution X version 6.5 and this is of course based on Android 12.1 of 22nd June 2022 and here today in this video let me show you how this ROM actually is working and of course this is how the home screen looks like looks beautiful I would say and yes swiping up gets you to the app drawer swiping down gets you to the notification or the quick setting panel and here even if you are in the light theme as you can see the quick setting panel stays dark that's how it is and to the left of the home screen we get the google's discover page of course they work perfectly fine and here if you're noticing we have no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen but of course there is double tap to sleep on the status bar and if you're looking at the settings of the stock launcher this is of course pixel launcher so there are not much settings there are only like this suggestion disabling option and stuff which you can do and the widgets and stuff are working perfectly fine if you're noticing and even this android 12 l kind of clock widget are working fine if you're noticing the animations right now let me talk about the stock camera of this rom well you won't find any because this rom does not come with any kind of stock camera over here as you can see there is only this like open camera because i have installed it from play store so yeah open camera and g cam and stuff they will be working perfectly fine if you're noticing also if you're switching to the front camera and stuff with the g cams or any other camera app that you're using should be working perfectly fine as you are noticing the front camera is working fine even for videos and stuff it should be working fine no issues whatsoever with videos and stuff as you are noticing the video mode is working fine so yeah even with g cam it should be working great and yes you can install the g cams from the description box below but then again of course you won't find any kind of stock camera because most of the roms for the redmi note 7 pro comes with a anx camera like the pixel plus ey and stuff so in terms of camera department i would definitely suggest right out of the box you can flash any other rom like pixel plus ey and stuff those will be giving you much much better experience with the cameras right out of the box so let me show you the about section first over here we have the evolution x logo right there the android version shows as android 12 but this is 12.1 and the evolution x version shows as omega 6.5 for violet official build and if you keep tapping on it you will get this evolution x kind of easter egg looks beautiful i would say and if you go back the security patch is latest of june 5th 2022 here is the stock kernel evolution x azure plus kernel and the build date here is 21st june 2022 and here is the build maintainer's name and we have the asynchronous status as enforcing in the system settings we have the system updater of course and by the way talking about flashing this rom let me actually tell you the flashing method is pretty similar you can use the latest stable orange fox recovery that should work perfectly fine i have wiped cache dalvik system and data after that i just flash the rom and the if crypt v3 because my storage is decrypted so after that it worked fine if you are like not getting what i'm talking about you can definitely watch the flashing guide from the description box below in the gesture settings we have the quick tap or the back tap actions and of course it works perfectly fine if i do this as you can see quick tap detected it shows let me go back from here to the quickly open camera and it works fine we have the system nav gestures in the settings we get a plethora of customizations in terms of the gesture navigations we have the pill length then the pill radius customization if you scroll down more we have the left edge right edge customization the swipe to invoke assistant is also there and it should be working fine if you're noticing and the gesture indicator is there the space under keyboard you can actually customize that to narrow or even hidden and we have the back gesture animation the haptics and the advanced gestures options are there this is the extended swipe actions and we have all these customizations to actually choose from for the extended swipe action we also get the two button and three button navigation as well here we have the one-handed mode that should be working great too and we have the press and hold power button actions for hold to assistant and then swipe to take screenshot is also there and let me actually show you up close if i do this as you can see we have all these share edit delete and the google lens option playback control double tap and the prevent ringing options are there let me go back that's pretty much it about the system settings let me go back and in here we have the evolver on top in the settings panel and this is how the whole settings panel looks like first of all in terms of the evolver settings or the customization settings i would say this rom offers amazing amount of customization still and you won't be disappointed with the customizations at all in the theme section we have the use black theme that's a pitch black option works great the monet theme engine you can also customize from right here you can also use custom colors with the monet theme engine let me go back we have the dark theme the headline and body fonts and in terms of the fonts let me show you how many fonts are there plethora of options you will get and the icon packs are there too i have been using with the Acuras one then the signal icon options are also there and if you go back to the wi-fi icons as you can see plethora of icons are also there 
and the icon shapes as you are noticing amazing amount of options let me go back to the status bar we have the status bar items and the headset bluetooth etc icons you can choose from then we have the clock style left right or center you can choose but for some reason if you are choosing center as you can see it gets cut it out with the notch so yeah i would just suggest we use it with the left or right option that should work perfectly fine and in here we have the clock and date customization and you can of course customize that just like this let me go back we have the logo and the traffic indicator stuff and we have the battery style plethora of amount of battery styles are there even there is the big circle big dotted circle etc and the icon landscape right i'm using over here and we have the battery percentage next to the icon left or right you can actually choose that's great we have the battery bar customization then if you scroll down more we have the volte view wi-fi icon stuff but of course i don't have a sim card in the device that's why you are not seeing any kind of volte icon over there and the bluetooth battery status and the combined signal icons everything is there in the notification we have the reticker then the ambient is lighting stuff then the show notification count and all the like do not disturb battery light or the notification light led control and then we have the blink flashlight for incoming calls and the in-call vibration options are there let me go to the quick setting panel here we have the background transparency level you can actually customize that the battery style also you can customize for the quick setting panel too if you scroll down mode we have the brightness slider position we have the show always and bottom option so if you enable that right now as you can see all the time it will show the brightness slider and we have the quick setting footer warnings and we have power menu shortcut then the clear all notification button and you can of course use these if you want to and customize that in the power menu we have the disable power menu on lock screen then the advanced reboot stuff and here i'll show you later on the quick setting panel everything and here as you can see the advanced reboot is there and you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right in the settings here to the gestures in here we have the system navigation gestures again if you're gonna look into that then the brightness control is there so you can slide a finger on the status bar to actually adjust the brightness just like this so yeah very handy feature i would say then we have the long press power button toggle torch option and we have the double tap to lock on the lock screen and the status bar to the lock screen and we have the double line clock then we have the media cover art etc then the ripple effect and the fingerprint vibration and stuff and the media art blur level etc let me go back to the buttons here we have the system nav gestures again and we have the on-screen nav bar then we have the volume steps the volume rocker key etc then we have the misc settings the game space options are there so you can customize the gaming mode and you can of course add any particular game that you are willing to and we have the hidden apps in the launch music app on headset connect and the screen of animation is there then the unlimited google photo storage is there and the unlock higher fps in games and the unlock higher quality streams in like amazon prime etc and we have the pulse navigation and the jitter option is there for something as you are noticing this is how the ui looks like of the jitter and we have some more features like developer features like the allow application downgrade etc and we also get the usb configuration still so if you set it to file transfer it becomes very convenient for me let me go back and there is also the team information you can also donate to the developers from right here so that's all the customizations present in this rom now let me jump into the battery settings and in here we have the battery percentage on top in bold fonts we have the battery usage then we have the view usage for past 24 hours and stuff then we have the battery saver and the idle manager also we have the battery charge warning stuff and you can customize that from right here and now we also have the battery temperature on the bottom then we also get the design battery capacity the current battery capacity also the charging cycles you are getting to see right here and right now it's showing 12 cycles for me because i have replaced the battery over here for the Mi Note 7 pro but if you have not replaced the battery this like charging cycles numbers will be a lot more right now let me show you the battery life over here if you're noticing i have got about nine hours plus screen on time that's just huge i would say for a device like redmi note 7 pro and here we have the health as like 100 percent because i have replaced the battery again but if you have not you will get about six plus hours of screen on time over here but yes the fast charging and stuff are working fine and the battery life is really good no issues whatsoever with the battery life of this rom let me go back to the sound settings and in here talking about the sounds let me show you the volume panel this is how it looks like and of course you can expand the volume panel just like this also if you're connected to a bluetooth headset it will be showing you a device switching option over here and right now let me scroll to the bottom in the sound settings we have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option like this and we also get the screenshot sound and stuff 
you can disable or enable all of these if you want to and we have the per app volume controls and we have the me audio enhancer or the me audio direct and from here you can choose it to youth edition the sound quality with this will be amazing via the headphone jack and also if you're looking at the presets you will see a lot more options and there is also the bass booster option let me go back from here we have a clear speaker option as well right now let me show you the display settings this is how it looks like we have the brightness level the adaptive or auto brightness then the extra dim feature is there then if you scroll down more we have the lock screen customization you can choose it to when swiping up on the lock screen because i have already set up the face unlock let me scroll down we have that double line clock again then we have the always show time and info that's the always on display let me go back we have the screen timeout the dark theme and the font size etc and the night light and the colors you can of course change from right here even the rgb controls you have then if you scroll down more, we have the pocket addiction, then double tap to wake. Wake up on plug option is there and the full screen apps and stuff and the ambient display customizations. And then we have the wallpaper sun styles and from here we have plethora of options for the accent colors. Then we also get the basic colors and over here we have the grid option and you can of course change the grid if you want to. The themed icons you can enable or disable from right here. And talking about the wallpapers, yes, there is this change wallpaper option and from here you can of course choose these wallpapers. But also let me actually show you from right here, there is this papers app of Evolution X as well. And in here we are gonna get a lot more Evolution XS wallpapers. And you can of course go with these kind of wallpapers. Let me actually set this one for home screen and lock screen both. Let me show you how it will look. And in here, I hope you have already seen this wallpaper. But yes, this is how it looks like. And it also changed the accent colors as you can see. And right now everything has turned to this bluish kind of color. Inside security, we have this face unlock and fingerprint option. I have added both the face and fingerprints over here. And if you are willing to see the customizations of the face unlock, here you will get those. Let me go back. We have the app lock too. For that, you have to go into advanced, then stock lock options. Then from here, you will get the app lock. And let me show you, I have added a couple of apps to the like app locking kind of thing. You can search for the particular apps like this and here, you can lock any particular app just like this as you are noticing and here inside screen lock settings we also get the quick unlock option if you're looking for that and right now if i have locked those apps let me show you this is how the app lock ui will look and if you tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see the app has already opened i just turned on the always on display so i'm going to be showing you the like locking and unlocking with the fingerprint scanner and stuff as you can see this is how the always on display looks like if you have it turned on and yes, double tap to wake if you turn on always on display, it becomes a little buggy, I would say. But yeah, normally it should be working fine if you do a reboot or something. But yeah, let me show you if you are on the always on display. Right now, if you tap the fingerprint scanner, as you can see, this is how it unlocks. Let me try one more time. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is fairly fast. No issues whatsoever. Of course, there is a double tap to sleep on the status bar. No issues with that. Also, the fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine here. No problems at all. And here, let me show you with the face unlock how fast it is. If you're wondering right now in the lock screen, I'll just swipe up like this. Right now it shows recognizing face and as you can see, it has unlocked. Let me actually disable the always on display because it's making things a little weirder. Let me actually double tap and right now if I double tap to wake, as you can see, it works fine. If I swipe up and all right, it unlocks pretty fine. I would say the face unlock speed is fairly fast and snappy as you are noticing. And also the fingerprint scanner and app lock, everything is working perfectly fine here. Right now, let me show you the IR Bluster and stuff. And in here with this particular app, if you are noticing the IR Bluster is working perfectly fine if you're looking at that light. So yeah, no problems whatsoever with the IR Bluster on this particular ROM. Also the safety net passes right out of the box. So you won't be having any problems with the safety net or banking apps over here, right out of the box. The DRM info stays as L1 over here, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any problems. And talking about the performance, yes, everything is working perfectly fine here, no problems at all regarding the performance, I would say, but yes, this is a Redmi Note 7 Pro, so it is a little bit like slower experience overall, I would say, but yeah, as you can see the split top and stuff, every feature should be working fine. And here, even the scaling and stuff are working fine and you can switch the split top apps and you can go home. And then from the recent panel, you can go to the same apps which we have opened earlier. So yeah, all these features are working fine. And if you're gonna look at the performance benchmarks, here are the Android 20 gig win score of this particular ROM with a CPU stress test. So what do I think about the latest Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro? If you ask me personally, I would say yes, I will prefer some other ROMs for the Redmi Note 7 Pro because just simply this ROM does not come with any X camera and all other most ROMs does 
So that's why I will personally prefer ROMs like Pixel Plus UI or something like that. But yes, just for performance, if you're someone who does not care about the cameras, definitely you can go for this particular ROM. It's a great experience overall on top of Android 12 L of course. And it has a lot of customizations and stuff. So that will be great for daily driving. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.